This is the second video that I'm recording for my GCSE electronics students preparing for the year 11 mock exam. We're looking at this paper, June 2019, component one. Like I said in my previous video, watch this video now uh, and it will help you with the upcoming uh, mock exam. And you're gonna encounter something similar but slightly different in the paper. We've got a table to complete here. And this first bit, it's just information, okay? Large electronic systems are broken down in the design stage into three subsystem categories, okay? Sensing units, in other words, input, pro signal processing, which frequently we just talk about being process, and output uh, devices, okay? So, like switch and um, microcontroller or logic gate or whatever it happens to be. Now, put devices, mm, a lamp, for example. So, for example, a buzzer is an output subsystem. Now here are five other subsystems. We have to put these five into the table by putting them in the correct column. Notice it's three marks, so I think this will be marked as one mark for each correct column. I'm assuming so without actually looking at the mark scheme. Okay, so we have to put them in. So a delay unit is a processing unit. So delay unit. So let's cross that one out. You only put it in once, okay? Motor unit is most definitely an output. And hopefully you'll readily recognize this. I don't think it's a difficult question. An OR gate is something that does processing. You know, we might have two uh, switch inputs, which then go into an OR gate. Um, a temperature sensing unit, hopefully you understand that immediately as being an input. Uh, notice I, I've written temp sensing unit. I mean, really, you should write temperature sensing unit, but they just don't give you enough room, do they, really? I'm sure that'd be fine. Uh, and a comparator. So a comparator is, is some sort of processing. We're going to have to compare these two values, you know, like this, the voltage that's um, uh, created from this particular sensor, compare that to another, um, another reference voltage and then make a decision on whether heat comes on or something like that, okay? So comparator unit is part of the signal processing. All right, make sure that you have put all of them in there. Don't miss them out, and then that will be um, the three full marks, okay? Now, a scenario. In the mock exam, you might uh, get a scenario. It won't be this scenario, but uh, it should be too difficult, okay? All right, the only thing that I think is going to possibly uh, throw some people uh, in lessons, we often talk about trans output transducer drivers. Um, here, they actually name a particular output transducer driver, a transistor driver, or a MOSFET driver, or, or something like that. Okay, so just just be aware that transistors and MOSFETs can be used as drivers. So a large house in the country has a long path leading to the front door. Um, a system is required to turn on a set of LED lights. Okay. So we're going to need some sort of sensors, aren't we? The lighting system should only operate if it's dark, so I'm imagining that there's going to be a dark sensor or a light sensor. Lighting system should be operated either at the front door or when someone opens the gate. So immediately when you read something like that, you think, oh yeah, there's probably going to be an or in there somewhere, a, a logic or gate. Uh, LED lights should remain on for a fixed period of three minutes. Sounds like there's a delay unit there and then switch off automatically until they're switched on again. And because they switch off automatically, I don't think there's going to be a latch. Okay, remember when we have a, a latch, uh, a latch will be turned on and it stays on. Uh, whereas a delay might go on for a certain period of time. Okay, so uh, we can use um, any of these once, more than once, not at all, up to us. Okay, two things that can um, get the... Uh, light system activated um, and we said there's an OR so we will have an OR gate. So the lighting system should be operated either at the front door or when someone opens a gate. So I think that's that's the front door or the gate. Um, so do we have a switch unit on the gate? We do, yeah, switch unit. on the gate. You can't just make up 
these things, okay? These things that you're writing in the boxes have to be things here. Now, although I've used it once, I don't need to cross it through because you, you're allowed to use them more than one time. So if the switch unit on the gate is activated or the switch unit on the house is activated, either of those with logic high, then the OR gate will output a logic high. Now, this lighting system should only operate if it's dark, so we need a dark sensor or a light sensor, light sensing unit, okay? So although you may know that's likely to be a an LDR light dependent resistor, don't write light dependent resistor because you've got to put down the things that are here, okay? Um, so if either of these outputs a logic one, this will output a logic one, and then this also light sensing unit needs to detect that it's dark. So that needs an AND gate. And then finally we need a transistor driver. I'll zoom back in in a moment. So you can see. Hopefully you can see. Okay, so that sort of thing. But make absolutely sure what you write in the boxes comes from the, the given list there, okay? Now, using the axes provided sketch output signal required from the delay unit, which is triggered at the time shown. Now, if you remember, I think they said it's gonna be triggered on, remain on for a fixed period of three minutes and then go off. So as soon as the trigger, so it's off, okay? As soon as the trigger, well, as soon as it's triggered, okay, it's gonna be on for a period of three minutes. So we start here, so we're on for one minute, two minutes, three minutes. By the way, I'm just doing it thick here so you can see, because I think I think uh, the reflection, I've got lights directly above me, makes it difficult for you to see, I think. So one, two, three minutes, and then goes off and stays off, okay? Can you see that? Hopefully you can. All right, now that's, that's it for this question. Yeah, that's it for this question, so just be aware in the year 11 mock exam, you are very likely to receive a question that's similar, but different. It's not gonna be exactly the same wording or anything. Not gonna be the same, but it's gonna be uh, similar, okay? So use this, make sure that you can answer this, and then that will, that will help you. Next video, we're gonna cover this one, okay? So do watch the next video.